Hi, this, let's look real quickly at an FMEA for the t-shirt um, and um, haven't, haven't done, um, um, we've got a, a t-shirt supply. I've already uh, deleted some of the materials, some rows above um, in the template and just sort of stripped it down. I'm not going to go ahead and, and clean up all of the um, this area up here, but you should. Um, let, let's just get started and dive in real quickly for an example. So I can start with a process function or I could start with a um, 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 an effect. And so if I started with an effect, uh, I could say for instance that one of the failures would be an increased cost of cut. And that would be an effect. And what could cause that? What would be the failure mode? The failure mode could be a uh, West Texas um, um, crop failure. And of course, if if that's true, then the process function really is um, um, could be thought of as the buying cotton. And you could say it's the raising the cotton, uh, or you could say it's buying cotton, because it, one of the recommended actions, if this happened, would not have anything to do with the raising the cotton, but would have to do with where did, where did you buy it. So recommend, recommended action, if you had a West Texas cop failures, you're going to end up buying from different co-ops in different parts of the world. Uh, what could cause this? We a number of a number of reasons uh, could cause this, and this discussed in the book. Um, and now we just look. How serious is this? Well, you know, I don't, I don't know. Even if you lost most of the West Texas uh, uh, cotton crop, um, it, it's, it's going to have a, a real effect. But it's not. It's probably not going to be devastating. The, the cost will increase. Class, we're not going to use. Uh, I like it in the template because in some cases, if I'm going to use this ongoing, I might want to. Uh, to give some uh, different classes uh, for failures. Uh, for instance, if there's certain types of my products that inherently have more risk, I might give them a different class. But let's just get rid of it. So we'll delete uh, that, that column. And then the likelihood of occurrence of, a, you know, I don't know, once every five years or something like that. We'll just call it a two. What's the current process controls? You know, you've, you've got a, a current sp a spray schedule. Um, and then your likelihood of detection, um, well, ahead of time on any particular year, do you know you're going to have a really bad um, uh, pest in, uh, infestation that year? I, I doubt it. And so um, there's my RPM. So I've created um, um, a, a risk priority number for one of my um, um, failure modes. Uh, I on this example for the t-shirt don't bother with the recommended actions and I want to you know you could go back and you could say well what could cause a, a, a quality problem you know I don't want to just say quality what how does how does a poor quality t-shirt manifest itself well you know maybe it's a, a, a poor um, a screen print uh, in some way or another and so the the failure mode, depending on what it is, it could be a design issue, you know, that we, we, we really got it bad, misspelled a word in the design, or it could be something in the process that would be for you to decide, and then the, the process function would be screen printing, and then you fill out some numbers and so on. That would be quality. Uh, what about delivery? We could have um, um, the effect is basically just a late. Uh, Rival, um, the failure mode would be a uh, trucking company um, variation. Basically, it takes longer than you expected it to, um, and the process function would be however you described the transportation. Um, and you, you know, you, maybe it's. Maybe it's a particular transport that you're that you're saying the transportation uh, to the port in China or across the country or 
uh, from the tra uh, train terminal and so on. And then you go through, uh, assign um, uh, variations, you know, speculate on what the current process controls. Maybe they're inspections, uh, maybe they're uh, allowing extra time, whatever they are, and, and create uh, RPNs. So that's a quick example of a um, of how you would create uh, failure modes effects analysis using your template in Excel.